Okay, we're here with our friend Wayne Duplissy, who was an engineer on that BL2, and he's also an engineer on this model steam engine. Uh, this was donated to us by uh, Glenn Jones of Holton, Maine, and a Willard Jones of New Brunswick, and they donated it in memory of the builder, which was Alex Jones. And Wayne, is a, being an engineer, uh, knows all the intimate operations of this one. Can you tell us a little bit about it, Wayne, how it works? Well, <clears throat> this is the reverse lever right in here. Uh -huh. This is what the go, that makes it go forward to backward. Mm -hmm. This here is the throttle, and this here is the whistle right here. Now you can actually build a fire in this uh, locomotive. You put the water in there, and you put, can put a fire in the firebox right in this little door here. Uh -huh. But we don't like to smoke up the museum, so we run it on CO2, which does exactly the same thing. The only problem is when we run it on CO2, if we run it very long, these little pipes will freeze up. So we don't go too far with it. But it goes forward and it goes backwards, and if you notice, it runs on the rollers that set right down in here. It just spins, as I say, it doesn't go anywhere. And these here, of course, this is the valve that lets the steam, or CO2, into the cylinders. The cylinders are down here. And a lot of people don't realize it, but a steam locomotive it has a cylinder over here and one over here. But actually, it gets a charge of power in both directions. When it comes down to this end, this valve up here comes back. This is what they call the combination lever. And that lets steam on that side. But when it goes ahead, it will, the, this will go back and it pushes it both ways. So actually, it's like a four-cylinder. Now, this is a, what they call a switcher engine. And the only difference between a switcher engine and a freight engine is that you don't see any lead trucks down here. Now, a lot of uh, locomotives that are out on the road, they have what they call pony wheels. Uh, uh, are uh, lead trucks. Now this here has got six main drivers, one, two, three here, three on the other side. So this is what you'd call an 060. No wheels under the cab. Now our big engines, like we got some down there on that panel down there, and I run steam. I never ran steam a whole lot, but maybe a month in the winter time when business was great. But uh, I sure put a lot of coal through them, and I didn't do it with the shovel, I didn't do it with the stoker. Now, this is what they call the main pin, this one here. And on the other side, if you look at it, the main pin is up a little bit farther. The, the, uh, the left side leads the right side one quarter turn, because if the main pin was the same on the other side, you would get caught on center and you couldn't go forward or back with it. So that's the uh, reason that the pins are, are uh, alternating. So if you normally you could have a fire in the firebox, but we've got it with CO2. So this is where our gas comes out, or this is where the were... exhaust come out, all the smoke. Yes, yeah, yep, it come out here. And so in our setup, we've got a big CO2 tank underneath. Yeah, uh, we've got it going right into the side of the locomotive. Yeah, and if I'm correct, turning the throttle right here. on those rollers and we're actually going to... you go, why the, because you'd have to shorten up the valve stroke so that would give you the speed. When you start starting out, you would have that as far forward or as far back as you could get it. Because that would give you a longer valve travel here to put the steam on the, mm -hmm. in on the piston. So when you... All, the, all, yep. that, all that does is is uh, is shot in your valve travel. I got gotcha. you. Yeah, if you get it close to center, it's shot. Right there. When that's you get it almost power. on center, or just forward back, that's as fast as it'll go right there. You can't get it more fast. Let me come around the other side, I'll show the people. Uh... So here we've got a CO2 tank, pressure regulator goes into the side of our boiler there. 
the lid lifts up. Imagine if you were able, you could actually probably ride on the, the tender, I guess. I want you to notice this, this here is what we call the mechanical the lubricator. And you'll see that wrench on the ratchet. See that little ratchet right there? Yeah. So every time that goes over, that digs in. And that pushes, that's the pump the, 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 for the mechanical lubricator. Pushes oil all over yeah. the place. Yeah, it pushes it down on the valves and like down on the pistons on both sides. And we only dig this out once a year. Well, it's on display all the, all year. Yeah. But we only run it on Veterans Day, November 11th. Yeah. And uh, I think it takes us about 10 years to drop a tank <laughs> on gas. Very good, Wayne. Thank you very much for yeah. showing us this engine. This is very good now. Make it look more